Hello everybody, we are back here on Way of the Hunter, and today is going to be a very interesting day. As for the first time ever in Way of the Hunter, we are going to be using the iron sights on a couple of the rifles. And I kind of wanted to keep the whole, like, cowboy theme to this video, so we're going to be primarily using the starting rifle, which is Grandpa's old rifle. 30-30 lever action with the iron sights. This should be quite a bit of fun. But then I do also have the 300 Magnum with me as well. As if we end up coming across an elk or something like that that we want to take down, we can always use this instead of the 3030. As I, I don't think the 3030 has enough power for elk, so we've got that on us just in case. But I'm going to primarily try to just be taking down deer with the 3030 lever action, and this should be quite a bit of fun. We're also back in the diamond drill region, as I've got a few bucks that I've been keeping eyes on, and I want to see if we maybe have a 5 star, because that would make this a little bit more exciting as well. Before we get too far in this video, leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys want to see added first to Way of the Hunter. And aside from bug fixes, obviously, which is something that will come regardless, what new content would you like to see in the game? Would you like to see non-typicals, rares, more rifles, bows? What would you guys like to see added? My personal pick would be non-typicals. However, I don't think those will come anytime soon. Though it would be pretty awesome, so let me know in the comments what you guys want to see added to Way of the Hunter, and what has you most excited about this game's future? There is one of the 4-star mature bucks that I've been watching over the last couple days. He's still a 4-star mature, but he's starting to move very slow it seems. I would not be surprised if he's towards the end of his life. Though we do have quite a few other bucks here to pick from, I think we probably won't be shooting that 4-star even though he is looking pretty old. I think we're going to give him a chance to grow up more and take down that two-star mature instead. Well, this one-star adult buck is actually giving us a pretty decent shot. I think we might end up taking it. Though I would prefer that he was perfectly broadside. Right now he's kind of quartering a little. And uh, he's moving out of the way anyways. I think whatever buck gives us the best shot first is going to be the one that we take down as it's going to be difficult to get that two-star mature out where we need him since he is kind of tucked away into the brush a little bit more. Well, let's see if we can get this shot into this one-star adult. It looks like he's going to stay there. That appeared to be a hit, though it's going to be difficult to know for sure. Definitely seemed like it hit it. The, the question is, was it a good hit and did it possibly hit the tree? And provided it didn't hit the tree, it should be a good hit. But we kind of know how the tree hitboxes are right now in Way of the Hunter and they're relatively large and block a lot more shots than they should. I really hope that wasn't the case here. Though uh, I'm starting to have suspicions it may have been. Oh wow, we actually did get a hit, but it was not a good hit, so that begs the question of were we too far forward or too far back I think we might have just been too far forward well we are approaching our second mule deer herd of the day and that is the other four star that I've been keeping tabs on I believe there is possibly one more down the river a bit more but uh, that is our four star right there once again we're gonna let him grow but we do have a couple others in this area that we can try to target for our shot here that are a little bit less impressive but need to be taken down nonetheless and the main one is this two star mature here he's about 95 meters away and honestly that's a perfectly makeable shot provided we can get him lined up when he's actually staying still there he is two star mature buck right there kind of a risky shot with that tree being there but i think this might be the one that we have to take eh, actually yeah, let's do it. That looked to be a pretty good shot. Let's just drop a marker right there. I keep accidentally proning instead of placing the mark. I uh, keep accidentally hitting the C button instead of the X button, which is why we had that quick drop down there. Uh, but uh, we got him, I think. Pretty sure that that looked to be a good hit. Oh yeah, he is stumbling like crazy. And there's the blood that does appear to be quite a bit of it. Medium amount of blood with air bubbles. That was definitely a lung hit. And our first good hit with the iron sights of the day. And there's our buck laying on the side of this hill. 
Let's go ahead and grab him real quickly. Then I want to move down the river and try to find one of the whitetail herds as we did have a good buck in there as well. This guy was a 70% genetics, two star mature. Definitely did not have a chance at making five stars, so we want to get him down. That one is definitely a decent one for a two star though. But it seems like we did end up hitting the artery as well as double lung. So we did just barely clip the artery, which caused a little bit more bleeding than normal, which is good for us. And we honestly were a little bit too far forward. But I'm assuming part of that has to do with it being the 30-30. Definitely a good enough shot though as we did get both lungs and that's really all that you can ask for with iron sights. Honestly, using the 30-30 lever action has kind of got me wanting a 45-70 to be added to the game or just some type of larger lever action rifle. I know for a fact there is some other calibers that can be in lever actions as well as like the 30-06. That would be pretty cool if we could get like some round nose 30-06 cartridges to use in one of the lever actions. A 44 Magnum would also be amazing, 357 Magnum. I'd love to see some more lever actions get added in the future as there's a lot of potential there. But I think the number one lever action I would want would definitely be a 44 Magnum. There's just something about a 44 lever that is just really cool to me. And I've never seen any hunting game do it, so it would be nice to have something like that. Well, it seems that somehow there is some whitetail deer right below us. So basically, I went to this lake and I ended up falling off of the cliff and dying. Uh, if I remember to, I'll put the clip of that in there. But uh, yeah, so I've been walking back here, had to go very slow. The wind has not been cooperating and, and now we've got whitetail right below us. So this is going to be very interesting. So there's our deer, definitely looks like there is at least a few of them, though I can't really get a clear view of the whole herd. There's definitely got to be a buck or two in here. There is a buck right there. He does seem to know we're here, he's about 90 meters out. The tree is kind of in the way, but I think maybe we can attempt this with the 300 just to ensure that it'll die. But not if he's going to go behind the rock there. That's definitely going to put a damper on things. Again, it's just not really providing the proper shot here. This is a lot more difficult than I expected it to be, though these trees are definitely the main cause of that. And there is another opportunity. The question is, can we actually get a clear shot? I have no way to know if that hit until we go up and look at the tracks. Let's hope there's some blood there. If not, then that's quite unfortunate, but we still got these mule deer down here to attempt to get as well. Yeah, it's not looking too good for us. I, I don't think we've got much, if anything, here. Yeah, no blood. So that was a bust. Most likely hit the tree, and I guess it's time to move on to those mule deer. Wow, we've got another four-star mature mule deer. This is the third one from three different herds that we have seen today. That's pretty cool. I really hope that one of these ends up making it to be a five-star one of these days, and I think, honestly, since we have not been able to find anything too crazy during this video, I might attempt a 180-meter shot on this four-star right here, and honestly, I think that's what we're going to do. I think that is... Honestly, the most logical thing to try, right? Well, it's definitely not logical because we're probably going to mess this shot up, but it definitely is going to be interesting, and I think that's what makes it fun for me. So let's try this shot here. I think the shot genuinely missed. It's going to be so hard to tell until I look at the uh, video footage, but that's definitely a tough shot to make I don't see any blood though so that guy gets to live to fight another day you know this is really proving to be one of the most difficult ways to hunt in way of the hunter and honestly I feel like iron sight hunting in way of the hunter is way more difficult than it is in the hunter call of the wild or even the hunter classic I feel like in those games you can get pretty close to animals and be able to use the iron sights with no issue here, I struggle to get within 100 meters and be able to take a shot that's even half decent on these things. We've made one good shot out of the four attempts that I've had and, well, two of them were relatively close and we still didn't get the shot we were going for. This one obviously was a bit further away than what I would typically take a shot at, 
but it still went bad, no regardless, so I think it's time that we try to rethink our approach here because this is clearly not working. Everything that we've tried has gone terribly wrong. I'm thinking if we want to try a longer range shot with the iron sights, 150 is probably going to be the max we can do. That was 180 and it just did not seem that feasible, at least with the 3030. Well, there they are. The mule deer are walking right in front of us. This is actually perfect. We got a two star mature there as well, which is one that I would like to get down. This might be the best opportunity we will get all day. That is looking very nice. We also have a three star mature there. I don't see our four star giant. There he is. That is our big four star. Still just a four star though, not a five star yet. Maybe one of these days he'll grow to that five star level, but as of now, he's still just a four. I'm going to get a little bit closer and then we're going to attempt to take down this two star mature mule deer buck and see if maybe we can finally get this to work in our favor. All right, I think we are gonna have to do this pretty quickly as this guy is still moving. I wanna make sure I don't waste the opportunity so the second he stops for us, we will take the shot. And I believe that's him right there in front. Yeah, it's definitely him. That looked like a pretty good shot. Once again, I accidentally proned instead of marking it. I think that was a really hard hit though. Oh yeah, he is stumbling so much. We finally successfully made a second good shot with the iron sights. This has took an hour and 30 minutes to do, but we finally have a second one hit vitally. Okay, that is very strange. Small amount of blood, clear. Time to expire slow. Well, but that one says medium. Okay, I am genuinely confused. Was this hit from earlier today? It must have been. That must be the hit from earlier. I suppose it might be possible that maybe this is the same deer we shot earlier. I'm pretty sure we did target a two star mature at one point that we unfortunately did not get a successful kill on. So maybe this is the exact same one and we've shot him a second time now. Well, we will find out very soon as this is our guy right here. No, we only shot him once. It was a left lung, right lung. So what is that other blood from? Did I maybe shoot two of these? And ooh, that is 89% genetics. Wow, this guy actually could have made it, but he's only a two star mature. Th you know, this really makes me think to myself, Maybe I should only shoot one star matures and some of the super tiny looking adults. I, I really need to start paying more attention to the actual rack size and remembering what types of racks I need to be shooting for each age range because this guy actually would have had a chance at making five star. Though we can't see it as of now, we have finally been given exactly what we're looking for, a one star mature mule deer, so that's going to be a much more a safe bet when it comes to like deer to take out for herd management. That guy right there is definitely one that we will want to get down. The question is, can we make a 113 meter shot? I think we definitely can, uh, provided he stays out in the open long enough. These mule deer are unfortunately not moving in a very favorable direction for us, so we're gonna have to be quick with this. I gotta figure out which one is the one star mature, so it's that guy right there. Let's attempt to get the correct angle. This will not be easy as we are kind of at a quartering angle on this guy. I, I don't know if I trust that shot. I don't know if I trust that shot at all. And yeah, he's starting to move a lot quicker. Not good for us at all. Maybe right here though. It's gonna be a moving shot. However, I think we could possibly make it. It's definitely a hit, but did we get a good hit? Once again, that has been the main question of every single shot today is, was it a good hit? Because it's so difficult to tell when you're using irons. And the answer is no, it was not a good shot. Well, that is, Quite unfortunate and really par for the course today. We have not made a lot of these shots. Well, this two star mature mule deer is giving us a pretty good shot and we do have another four star right there. I believe we're growing four different four star mule deer 
all in separate herds right now. One of them has to make it to five stars at some point. I just got a feeling that at least one of them will eventually make it. At least that's what we're hoping for. Now, if we can, we're going to try and take down one of these two-star matures as they're probably the best options out of this particular herd. And that one is giving us a fantastic shot. So let's see if we can line up on him right now. That looked to be a solid hit on this buck right here. And you know what? He might actually even move towards us. Let's see if we can run up to him and maybe shoot him a second time. That's him right there. Oh, he's definitely going down. It looks like we definitely made a good shot that time, which have been few and far between today. So that's very, very refreshing to see. There is our two-star mule deer buck. Let's go ahead and claim him. This one looks smaller than the last one, so I bet this one's genetics aren't as good. And yeah, I was correct there. 55% we actually took down a pretty good one this time. From 79 meters with the 3030 Winchester. Actually got a little bit of damage to the heart even. Not bad. That's probably our best shot so far. Well, 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 we've got quite the selection in front of us this time. We've got a few moose as well as what appears to be a couple badgers off in the distance. Then we've got a herd of mule deer with a one star mature buck that we definitely need to take down. And also some wild ducks over here. We got quite a few different options. So I suppose we will get close to these and see which ones will give us a good shot. I honestly think we'll take down this moose as it is not exactly the biggest looking in the world even for a young it looks very small so chances are this isn't a good genetics one here we go that looked to be a solid hit or at least from what i can tell we did spook off everything within the vicinity but you know it is what it is small price to pay to take down a moose there's even some whitetail deer that I didn't see. I think we've got almost almost half the species on this entire map just in this location right here. And while I'm thinking about it, this is the lake that we're currently at. It's just below a campsite in Breakwater. This is a pretty cool little area. Lots of animals to hunt. Wow, we have a four-star mature whitetail deer here. Another one that we need to let live and watch grow. So many possible giants on our map at the moment. Not only do we have this four-star whitetail, we have the four four-star mule deer and two four-star mountain goats, as well as a four-star bighorn, all just waiting for them to grow up to be five stars, hopefully. However, that is a one-star mature whitetail. Let's see if we can maybe hit a long shot. Not too worried if we can't on this particular one, so let's try it. I have no idea if that even hit. Uh, we'll find out soon enough though because that moose is right next to it. Well, we might as well take down that uh, one star mature duck while we're here too. Not the proper caliber, but still gonna take it down. So this is the moose that we took down. Definitely a very small young. I don't think this one could have good genetics. And we did end up getting double lung. So very good shot right there and yeah 55% on the genetics I kind of figured with how tiny these antlers were now let's real quickly um oh uh, okay it looks like we actually had a mission for this let's activate that real quickly then and go ahead and complete that mission as well amazing here is the hit from the 300 magnum and it was actually a double lung hit Wow, that is not what I expected, but I am very happy about that. And there it is. Wow, this guy did not make it far at all. We ended up getting right lung, stomach, liver, intestines, and flesh. My gosh, the 300 Magnum is just such a powerhouse, which is really what you would expect. But that's crazy. A complete pass through. And on the way through, destroyed half of the organs in this thing's body. That is amazing. Well, we also got the duck. That's three for three in a matter of like five minutes. And it took us almost two hours just to get three kills before this. And then we get over to here and get three within literally five minutes. That just really is par for the course when it comes to my luck. That is 
very much how my luck has been on Way of the Hunter. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, bit of a different style hunt going full on Western mode using iron sights on the 3030 and then a couple shots with the 300 Magnum as well. But overall, that was a lot of fun. Way different from the long range shooting that we've been doing and also just the five star hunting that we've been doing. And I had a lot of fun doing this. It was quite the challenge, but very rewarding at the same time. And we got to explore our herds a little bit more and find out that we have tons of four star possible five star animals on our map. Lots of potential for the future with these herds, and I'm very excited to see what they end up growing to. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed the video, and let me know what your favorite type of video is. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!